I just want to quickly share with you something in regards to the droid smith quest line and the scavenger quest line which are essentially tied in together i am going to have two links down below in the description box to credit ign for their guide but i did figure this out on my own but i figured it out the hard way i wish i would have known about this so when you're tasked on the droid smith one to infiltrate the Imperial base right after you meet up with Surat Nuat. And you have to find Gedik there. Gedik, whatever his name is. And you start from Mira. You start heading north, right? You're over here and you're trying to go like over water. And it's just not working. I tried going over here, then over there. I keep drowning. I was really confused. No, from Mira, you go over the bridge here. But you lap around here and you go over the bridge. So this section, <clears throat> excuse me, like this. And you can't really see it. Well, you sort of can, but there's a lot of trees. So you can actually drive through here, through the silent grove. Make your way around like this. Then you'll notice this little split off here. Just keep Sashin in the back of your mind. You won't be able to unlock the fast travel point to it if you go to it first. However... You could go there if you want, but that's not where we need to go right now. That's afterwards for the scavenger walkthrough so that you can ride on top of water. Go over the bridge here. And then here, it, like I can't turn the map, but this goes in, into the mountains. And then you're, you're right here at Research Station 57, the Imperial Compound. That's where it's going to be called Infiltrating the Imperial Base. Because essentially, like I said, I tried going over the water. I didn't understand. I kept drowning. <clears throat> Took me... A lot longer than I want to admit. Before I figured that out, I thought I needed the the thing here, whatever it's called. People keep calling it a hydro repulsor, but it's actually just called a surface repulsor. And it allows you to drive over deep water. You're basically hovering over the water. <clears throat> and I was going absolutely bonkers. I thought I needed that upgrade before I could even do the mission but that is not the case and then after you're done that and you rescue him you find Gedik you bypass the turret you know you shut it down you escape the imperial base he's gonna tell you blah 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 you need to track down Temin that's where you go back to that place I told you about sure you can go there but you're not gonna unlock the fast travel point right away and you're going to do a couple quests. Just a couple quests. Very simple. Again, everything. Link in the description box for a little quick guide. And then once you recover the Juristil struts uh, for Temin, he is going to install the permanent version of you being able to go over the water. And in the unlikely event, some people have been discussing, because there's been some weird bugs, Okay. Nyx isn't responding, your little pet there, see he's sleeping. Or you're drowning in the water, your bike's not hovering over the water. Just save the game. At least this works for me on PlayStation. I completely close the game. I come back into the game, and generally everything is working. Okay? I can't tell you. For most of you, this is a useless video. However, if I wasted... Four minutes, which it took me to make this rant. And I had this information. I could have saved myself almost an hour. It is ridiculous. We're not going to get into it. Even though I just did. Thumbs up as always if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with that algorithm. And trying to make me more relevant in the search results. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. And I'll bend it in half. Twist it. I'll break it off in your ass. So again, the droid smith is one of many... Uh, main quests that you'll get after a while of playing the game. You'll be able to pick between like multiple ones. The droid smith being one of them. There's like a six step process. And then that ties into the side mission of um, the scavenger walkthrough. And then it's it's game over. Like a lot of things change. Like I said, being able to go over the water. And I just wish I had that information before. Take care, and if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.